the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always Namaste friends uh, in today's lecture we'll be seeing more about a quick rehash of Bitcoin I, I mean you know, blockchain so we're going to be seeing what are the advantages of blockchain and once again you know the centralized and decentralized architecture and why we chose distributed so let's actually take a deep dive thank you hey friends <clears throat> so today in blockchains lecture what we're going to be seeing is the advantages of blockchain and what is a blockchain what is the difference between centralized and decentralized why we need to go for a distributed network and like always my contact information I know we have already seen this before in the previous lectures, but I just want to emphasize a little bit more for easier understanding because we are actually moving ahead and uh, you know we have a lot of things to cover. So I'm not sure whether we'll be coming back to this again. Uh, so that is why you know I just want to give one good touch before we go. <clears throat> All right, so let's actually come in. So now what are the advantages of blockchain? We have actually seen and I keep on telling blockchain is immutable, it's transparency and then we can actually build a transparent society, uh, you know, in the, in, the, in the form of, you know, say suppose, now, you know, there is an organic farming, okay, uh, like, you know, you are actually going to eat an organic carrot or whatever it is. Who knows how organic is it? So, you know, say suppose in the time of sowing in the soil, everything is actually taken recorded and then the consensus has been made and for the time of the manure you know which is organic which has been applied so everything which is a stamped and everything is organic organic then we know if we actually backtrack on so and so date this carrot was sowed in this soil and you know this particular organic manure was actually used by so and so person and these persons have actually approved it so now you're actually safe to actually eat this organic carrot and you're happy to pay that extra money for that organic because you know uh you know it is because it is it is we know like it is good quality <clears throat> so uh the advantages of the blockchain is it is a trust as i said like you know it's automatic trust it is tamper proof no one no one absolutely no one can actually change the records you can share the data it is transparent and it is resilient so that is why i gave you the example of this carrot now in the blockchain as i also said in the previous lecture everybody has a copy of the ledger so everybody has a copy so everyone is actually running a blockchain node the part of the network because everybody should be having it the new blocks are actually broadcast to the network okay say suppose the new blocks is actually coming in something someone is actually mining it and uh, you know some person has to actually say something you know it is actually broadcast to the network everybody updates a local copy okay uh, of the blockchain now just in case if you're actually running behind the current chain you can actually ask the other nodes for copies okay say that you need to catch up and if everyone has a copy of the blockchain when someone is actually querying you get the same answers it is like how do i actually say it now say suppose we want to go for the same organic farming and the organic farming right from the soil selection the soil menu the seed selection even that can be organic right or the crop selection and the manure so say suppose everybody has got a ledger and you are actually running behind for some reason so you can actually ask other network hey like you know i'm i'm running behind i'm a part of this network can you please send me the latest and greatest uh, so persons will be happy to send the latest and greatest information they have and it is a group consensus so you'll be having the latest information that you know what uh, the soil has been selected the crop has been sowed and this is also organic in so and so place and this menu has been updated on so and so place and you know it has been certified uh, so we are actually waiting on the crop to grow uh, to harvest so you can get those things so finally when i actually query what is the status of my carrot uh, you know i everybody gets the same answer and that is what blockchain is all about as i keep on telling in blockchain you cannot okay you cannot tamper any data it is like a read only database okay read only distributed database you have a database and there's only read only you can't write on it <clears throat> now having said that we already touched on this topic centralized and decentralized and why we went into distributed 
So the centralized, I gave an example of banking, or maybe I would have also given the example of a house where either a father or the mother is the deciding authority. So in a centralized, if one person actually fails because we are humans, right? So we are prone to make errors, then the entire thing collapses. In a decentralized, that is not the case, there are multiple owners. Okay, there is not a single authority. So in a centralized, if the single copy of the ledger were changed by any means, the wealth would be lost. As I said, like you know, if one person, the main person fails, the entire thing fails. In a decentralized, nobody has the trust. So it's a trustless environment is assumed from the beginning because everybody is their own boss. Okay, now getting into the distribution. You know, this is the example that I actually gave the centralized and the decentralized and how everybody has a, you know, a copy of the ledger. We actually discussed in the previous lecture as well. Now, why we are actually going to the distributed network? The distributed network is basically it has got many peers. Okay, many peers in the sense like, you know, just see like this. Okay, these are all peers. Okay, so it has many peers and it is connected in a network and there is no single point of failure like a centralized network. It has got the security and resiliency, okay? So, if some peer actually crashes or attacks the network maliciously, the network can still operate, okay? And this, this is called Byzantine fault tolerance. Like, I'm a hacker. I actually get in. I actually hack all these persons. I still have other persons, and you can actually request the data, and I can actually supply, and this is tamper proof. Okay, and this is why we actually tend to go for the distributed. So this is called the Byzantine fault tolerance. So this is how the distributed network actually looks like. So I also gave some examples of, you know, what is a centralized in the real time, decentralized and distributed. So kindly, you know, look into my lectures, previous lectures were the same. So this is how it actually looks like. So you can see like, you know, if any crash happens, you know, we can recover. It is resilient, okay? The network is resilient and that is what is needed. So in a distributed architecture, no one has an authority, okay? Or everybody is a boss, okay? More or less like a decentralized, but this is virtually unsusceptible to collapse. So you, this can't fail and this is a complete flat hierarchy, okay? So you are there, you are your own boss. Likewise, everybody is their own boss. And it's a flat hierarchy. There is nothing like a director, uh, manager, senior manager, nothing of that. So everybody is the same. Okay. And this cannot be broken. So this is why the distributed architecture, you know, scores and the distributed architecture is quite important. Okay. Uh, it is gaining the importance. Now, as I always say, I mean, we can actually end this here. This will be a quick brush up and, you know, because we are going to be proceeding further. So, you know, we can stop here. As I always say, if you feel like, you know, I can be of help to you and your career path and, you know, be your mentor, I'll be very happy. Uh, you can actually contact me in this LinkedIn. You can actually add me or follow me uh, and also follow my blog spot. Okay. Uh, till we see next time. Take care. Cheers. Bye. I must say, friends, I want to thank you for giving me your time. Uh, in order to go over my lecture. So, you know, I think you might be clear with the concepts of blockchain, its advantages, and the different kinds of architecture available. Uh, if you have any questions, you can, you know, uh, you know, feel free to contact me in my LinkedIn or follow me in my blog spot, and I will try my level best to actually help you out. I want to thank two persons. One is you for giving me your golden time, and my wife Jayashri for supporting my passion. Till we see you next time. Cheers. Take care.